What's going on, AJ Reacts 2 family? It's your boy, AJ. And I have my lovely wife with me. Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> and we are here to talk about episode four of Stranger Things season three. The sauna the, test. The sauna test. Uh, so. Where we start off? was slow yeah. in the beginning. Yeah, it was it was slow like until like the last 20 to 15 minutes of the episode. And then it okay. kind of blew up. Yeah, so let's start at the beginning. Um, so where we left off on episode three um, was uh, Max and Elle were leaving Billy and uh, Heather right. um, the at the house. And we were, you know... We knew something was up. They kind of knew something was up. So, you know, at the beginning of this episode, they go back to the house and they're like, okay, they go back to, uh, where do they go? They go I back to Max's house? To or? Max's they, go to, house. they go to Max's house and they talk about it. And Max is like, they seem to be okay. And Eleven's like, seriously? You think that's normal? Right. Like, Her brother is such a bully. A bu and she's sitting there like, uh, yeah, I, and I think fine. <laughs> yeah, I think she is in denial though. Right, I right, think right. she had, you know, she doesn't want like, to as think. As long as he didn't kill anybody, right. I don't care. He's always <laughs> been a jerk, but he hasn't been like a killer, so right. or you know, kidnapped anyone. Right. So uh, yeah. she didn't want to believe that. But while they're laying in bed, they get a code red from. Mike. Mike, Mike and the boys. And the boys. Mike and the boys. They are. Um. They know that something's up. Right. The Will feels those goosebumps on the back of his neck. He's like, something's going on. I knew something was going on, but now something I know. Right. I know, no. This is something's going on. This isn't a coincidence. This has happened three different times. Yeah. Like something's up. I'm done playing around. I need help to figure this out. Yep. So they all get together. Uh, they try to contact Dustin. Dustin's not responding. He's off doing his own thing with Steve and uh, Robin. Robin. So Dustin, Steve, and Robin. I don't know why I keep forgetting her name, but Dustin, Steve, and Robin are getting closer and closer to um, infiltrating this uh, secret room. Yeah, at it's the mall. Yeah, it's um the but what is it? It's like um, it's like the, a Russian. I think like it was a Chinese. It was like a Chinese food place or yeah, something but in the back. It had like shoes in there too. Yeah, so, so it's like a shipment, but yeah. inside of it, they're trying to figure out what's actually in the boxes because they know it's an armed entrance. So yeah. they obviously it's that doesn't not, happen at the mall, right? So they figure out. Um, well, what's her name again? Hey, Robin. Robin. <laughs> See. See. Robin. She's a new character, so cut yeah. us some slack. Robin. It's like, all right, let me go figure this out. And she goes and gets the plans for the mall. Mm -hmm. And she figures out the only way to get there is to walk or to go through the air ducts. Yep. And Dustin tries to fit in. He can't fit. He can't you fit. know, it's, yep. it's, it's too small. Late. And then Robin gets an idea to use Erica. Because yep. um, she's small. She's a kid. Um, and... She needs convincing. <laughs> yeah, so Erica, th this was Stacy's favorite scene yes. of the episode, probably. <laughs> uh, she loved when Erica got sassy and she was like, yes. What's in it for me? Right. You know? <laughs> right. <She's laughs> like, like, all I, need... I hear about you, 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 what's going on with me? You know, <laughs> I, I need something, some, some compensation, right. you know, like that. So, yeah, so she gets free ice cream for life in exchange to going through the ducks for them. Yeah. But she's, like, very skeptical the whole time. She's like, there's going to be booby traps. Like, <laughs> I don't think this is going to work out. You don't even have a plan. She's but like, what is your plan? <laughs> she's like, I just want this ice cream, so mm -hmm. whatever. I'm just going to let these nerds figure it out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they, they get, get into the place, mm -hmm. and it's like some mystery substance. It looks like green eye. Yeah, like liquid kryptonite or something. That's what I called it. Right, and they're trying to get out, and they somehow like end up locked in there. Erica's like, mm -hmm. I told you it was a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> and so it turns out to be like some elevator. So yeah. 
I'm interested to see what's going to happen there. Yeah, that was the end of their storyline. Yeah, but it was like nothing was going on up until that point, really. So mm-hmm. it was just kind of like, It was slow. Right. A little slow. And I'm kind of like bothered that like Dustin's not with the main group. Yeah, even after they were calling him and stuff. And we read the description a little bit before we watched the episode. And it was saying the whole gang is back together. And then, mm-hmm. like, I was expecting Dustin to be part of the group. But he wasn't. So yeah. that was a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I wonder when he's going to come back to the group and they'll make up and stuff like that. they kind of been a little upset with each other this season so far. Like, everybody. Yeah. And it's kind of... Kind of tearing them apart, which is kind of sad to see, but right. I think this new threat is going to make them bond together and all the storylines and everything are going to connect by the end of the season. I'm mm-hmm. ready for Callie. Like, I'm ready for Callie to come back. I, You know, every time I feel like they're in trouble and stuff and they can't, you know, uh, do it on their own, I'm like, Callie's coming. He, she, she's coming anytime now, but I don't she really hasn't. think that they're going to bring her back. I don't, I don't know. At this that. point, it kind of doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Because they ha- they kind of focused on something completely different. You know, they're right. not really focused on her. So, right. it's, a, it's a little bit of letdown for me, but it's okay. Yeah, this episode after season, or episode three, was just like a letdown. It, it was. was. Like episode three was setting up so much stuff. Yeah. And then episode four, you're just like episode halfway three. through. Episode three. You're like, episode uh, three. Episode four. <laughs> but um, towards the end of the episode, something, did, something crazy did happen. Yeah. They figured out that Billy was the main host um, of this creature. And they, they stuck him in the sauna room. And it was an epic fight in yes. that in that uh, locker room, man. Like, and Max almost let him out. She was feeling Max good. was feeling so bad. She's like, that's my brother. That's my brother. But he couldn't do at this. the same time, like, you could just tell, like, yeah, he, he was, was he not wasn't himself. himself. Yeah. Like, he, earlier in the episode, he was, like, wearing, like, all white. And, like, they're like, Trying he to reflect the sun. his chest out. Yeah. But, no, he doesn't want to get hot because that's how the mind flare gets out. Yeah. So, the mind flare. It was really crazy that, like, they caught him in there, which was pretty clever on their part. Mm-hmm. But then the fight between Eleven and him was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, he had Man, her by the neck. He had her up there. He, he was going to get her. He he was going to take her out if yeah. uh, Finn Wolf or uh, Mike. Uh, Mike wouldn't have knocked him over the head. head. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He, she, her, her eyes were, like, going cross-eyed and... I was like, man, this is... And the rest of them were just sitting there. I mean, what else are they supposed to do? I don't know. Try and jump in wherever you can, I guess. They were all scared. Jump in? That dude was... He had her by the throat. Like, I I, I don't know if I would have been able to... No. That might push Mike and Eleven back together since he saved her. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But then, like, she was like... No, you didn't just play me like that. And yeah, she was like, because even but, though, yeah, what are you saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, she threw him out the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, that brick wall. Girl. Like, she, she's stronger than anybody thinks. Like, yeah. but we just haven't tapped into her complete power. Like, when we saw her close the gate uh, last season, mm. that was like some unbelievable power. So, right. she just, I feel like she just hasn't tapped into everything she can do. Um, they kind of taking it slow. She's also dealing with like life stuff and you know finding out who she really is, mm-hmm. finding out what her powers really are. Um, and she's a teenager, so she's yeah. focused on all kind of other she's stuff. Like yeah, so she's growing up. Um, what else happened in this episode? Um, Jonathan and Nancy, their storyline. Yeah. Was. I mean, why are they in the show at this point? <laughs> I mean, I feel like nothing's happening. <laughs> it's slow, so slow. It's a, um, it's a slow burn, they, like I said. So the journalist, the main journalist or whatever at mm-hmm. the paper who got hosted um, by the Mind Flayer, he came back and he was at work and he was all sweaty and crazy and they both got fired because they were doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. Yeah. Um... And then, like, kind of it seemed like Jonathan and Nancy broke up after that because Jonathan was like, you don't understand me. Sorry. And Nancy's like, you don't understand me. No, that's what Nancy <laughs> said first. Nancy said that first. She was like, I guess we don't understand each other. Right. He was but, like, I guess not. Well, 
it's like they come from different classes. Definitely. So yeah. I think that is a big factor in it. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm just like, what do you? They're an odd couple. Yeah. They're such an odd couple. Yeah. Like. And then there was like this whole weird moment with Nancy and his mom, her mom, just like talking for like five minutes. That was, was annoying. Like, that was so boring. I, I was trying. I was thinking about fast forwarding it. <laughs> I was like, this is, like, not even... I guess it's for, you know... Just to show to her... To show that the she... connection between her and her mom. To show that she uh, is vulnerable. Mm. To show... Like, I, I guess it does show a few things. Some character development stuff. Uh, ha have her healing from that. Because, you know, we don't want her to be, you know, all sad. And then next scene, she's all gung-ho again. So we kind of want to see that healing right. part, too. But it was slow. Yeah. It was so. So, basically, she got convinced to start reporting again. So, she goes and sees Mrs. Driscoll in the hospital. And Driscoll. It looks like she's about to explode when um, <laughs> Billy, at the same time, when Billy is, like, about to explode at the same time. They're all kind of going through it together mm -hmm. since he's the main host. So, that was kind of interesting. Nancy's going to, I'm sure, dig deeper. I just wish they would all come together and share what they had. Right. I, mean, I don't think they even know that they each other has anything. Um, I think they just are going their separate ways this season. Yeah. They're going to come back together. They always, it's going to pay off, I'm they sure. They always do that every season. They're like, oh, we're going to just keep everybody separate yeah. until the last minute. And yeah, I'm like. That's true. That is how that's that's a trend Come on. in Stranger Things. Like you all know, you've been around weird things. You should communicate with each right, other when true. you see weird things. They don't have cell phones though, so they don't. I mean, they have, they have to, those radios. That's true, but like not Nancy, not Nancy and Jonathan. Whatever. And Nancy and Jonathan, I feel like they think that they're like big adults now, so they don't have to talk right. to kids anymore. But the kids deal with more than they do, you know. Right. So it was crazy, and I guess Joyce and Hopper, they're mm. Hopper did go a little crazy this episode. Hopper's like, been going crazy this whole season. <laughs> like this is so unlike him. He's usually the the uh, soft spoken, not really soft spoken, but like not. He doesn't really put forth a whole lot of. Um, he doesn't really talk that much, and he doesn't really you know put forth that much in. You know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't, what, what am I trying to say? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like he's like more conserved or like conservative. Like he doesn't really, you know, he's not that outspoken. Right. He just kind of goes with the flow. He is um, a good investigator. He investigates things, but man, like this episode, he had a scene with Carrie Ells and the Larry. Mayor. Yeah, Larry the mayor, and he broke the dude's nose. You know, he's like, tell me his name. I almost cut off his finger. Boy, like, it was intense. That was really intense. Now I'm going to just excited to see what Mayor Klein is going to do back to him. Yeah, Mayor Klein, like, after he, after uh, Hopper left, he's like, get me a phone. You know, because he's, he's about to retaliate. Yeah. So we're excited to see see that, too. But that's pretty much all that happened. Well, like, they went to the mayor's office to figure out who the guy who beat up Hopper was. And they yeah. did sort of figure it out. So it has to do with the mall. So yeah. I think yeah. they're getting closer to figuring out what's going on at the mall. Star Court. Yeah, with the electromagnetic fields or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think I just I'm ready to see all of it come together. Yeah, it's going this to. This is it episode four out of eight, so we have four episodes left. Like, I'm hoping episode five kind of brings everybody together, so we can kind of like get moving. Yeah, get, get the ball rolling. <laughs> um, but it's been it's been interesting. It's yeah. been interesting enough. This episode was you know a little bit slower at the beginning, but it. It definitely sparks the interest for the next episode, as they always do. Right. And so. it still has that creepy vibe. And I oh, feel yeah. like it is, like, oh, a yeah. lot darker. Like, it's especially creepier. at the end, like, the last scene, it shows the Mind Flayer with, like, all of its host bodies. And I was like, oh, my god! I don't think that's like, the Mind Flayer. I, I think that's what that is. I think that's like, just a creature. I think that's, that's all the, the rats. I think that's all the uh, rats. They exploded and, you know, kind of got to came together uh, in this clump. Um, I think it is uh, controlled okay. by the Mind Flayer, okay. but I think it's kind of like the Demogorgon. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Mind Flayer is like the head honcho. He's right. the boss. Right. So. Well, I yeah. mean, it was still a good episode. It was just 
took some time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all we have to say about episode four. It's in the books now. Um, so if you liked our review, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, AJ Reacts to. Uh, hit me down in the comments because we love talking Stranger Things. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.